everybody! How you doing? Welcome aboard another episode of Name Your Prize! Say it with us in the audience. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Austin Show. That's right. And I'll be hosting today's episode of Name Your Prize next to my lovely, beautiful, best dressed co host, Mr. Will Nab, everybody. Out there in TV land, I see a lot of people cheering for Team Horsecock. Yeah, and I don't know who that is. Uh, it could be Austin, and it could be uh, Schlatt. I don't it, know. it could be Schlatt, but. Uh, you know, I've never seen what he's working with, and I don't think anybody's seen what I'm working with either. To be That's completely, right. To be completely honest with you. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing in the chat? Smile in the chat. Everybody's having a fantastic day. I'm sure we're doing well. Will's dancing. I'm oh, dancing. Yes, I'm contractually obligated to dance. That's right. We. That's uh, right. It's in his. It's in the structure of his contract. He gets a bonus, right? That's as right. As soon as he stops dancing, he's fired. Yeah, exactly. And what was your previous job, Will? Oh, I worked in a male strip club. Oh, did you? Yeah, rhymes with Pippin Snails. Oh. <laughs> That's great. Did you make a lot of money doing that, Will? Oh, for sure. Shaking this pickle brought in all the dollars. So why'd you quit? Oh, I blew my ACL out. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Particularly oh. dangerous pull uh, uh, stunt. Well, honestly, we, we've been trying to get rid of you. We we're trying to get you to blow it out. That's why we have you dance in your yeah, contract. Yeah, yeah. I tried to do a move called the Fertile Scorpion, and uh, it never was the same. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you show us? What no, that no, no, no. Oh, it okay. hasn't been like that anymore. All right, folks. Well... Let me tell you something, name your prize would be absolutely nothing if it wasn't for our wonderful contestants. And we have a lot of them today, don't we, Will? Oh, we got such great contestants. We've got a lot of different contestants today from all parts of the internet, mostly Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> all parts, specifically one part, but everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. In I mean, that yeah, one right? part. Right? Yes, everywhere in that one part. We're covering all corners of Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm excited to introduce, why don't we bring them on the screen? Oh, look oh, at them. Wow. Look hey. at them. I gotta, I gotta take off my glasses. Round of applause. Whoa. Wow, look at them. They're looking great. Slap's wow. on his lunch break. Wow, and Ted's on his lunch break. Yep. I, I tell you what. Nice of him to squeeze us in. Yeah, really. Uh, Austin, I'll tell you what. What? I'll tell you what. What? You're saying that no one's ever seen what you've got? <laughs> Uh, Schlatz. 24 7, it's on display. I don't know what I mean, you're talking about, to be completely honest with you. Um, I don't, do you know what he's talking about? No idea. All right, well, anyway. He's talking about penis size. Oh. 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 All right, Tubbo. Well, he turns 18 and all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, everything's loose. Behind in the gutter, I, I will say. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on the limb here. Go this out. is the best looking cast we've ever had on Name Your Prize. They're hot. They're hot. They're red hot. They're very hot. I was watching Ted in his newest video. He was a milkman. It was fantastic. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. He also did a video about why video game movies don't work, and I love that, too. Wow. Very true. Ted and I had sexual intercourse. <laughs> Is that real? Is that true, Ted? Oh, we have a cricket sound effect? I didn't know. <laughs> Is that, was that the sound of the sex? No, no. Oh, you guys are rubbing oh, your legs to together. Say. I'm kidding. We, we didn't have sexual intercourse. We just made out for a few minutes. That's oh, it. okay. That's a lot different. The only different. way I can describe that experience is strong-willed. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Is that what our movie was? No. Anyway. Uh, let's bring in our first guest, ladies and gentlemen. He's a well-known Minecraft player, but also a yes. very accomplished musician playing yes. the piano, ukulele, melodica, and a steel pan. What, what? was that last one? A melodica. What wow, the hell? a melodica. Everybody knows that, right? And I hear he plays a little guitar and a little saxophone. He likes to play it by the ocean. Ooh. This says here that he's also rumored to have been an international trampolinist. Is that true? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Tubbo! Yes! Hi. Tubbo, how you doing? Wow. Is, are that all of those quite the introduction. How the, how the hell do you have so many facts about me that I thought I buried? <laughs> well, we, we pay somebody a very livable yep. wage of $3.50 an hour, which exactly. is the federal minimum, minimum wage. Yep. And uh, they do, they've been competitive. camped out outside your living arrangement for the last week, and they go through your trash. That's right. That, we found reeds that to makes a saxophone, lot of sense. and we that placed it all That van across the drive has not moved for like weeks. That flower Have van? We... That's us. Can yes. I just, <laughs> can I check? Has is, is that been happening to everyone? On the... No. Just Tubbo. Just Tubbo. We it's only have a budget for one every Yeah. That's right. There were some other facts in there the that we guys. left out, Extra Tubbo. Care. And let me tell you, uh, welcome aboard. How are you doing today, Tubbo? I'm doing rather well. I'm ready to um, 
Name name some prices. Yeah! And he, he, thank you, thank you, thank you. He's representing a country far, far away. Mm. He's representing the Netherlands. Isn't that oh, right, Tabo? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm representing the Netherlands. I'm here. The Netherlands. I'm kidding. They stand with me today. The United Kingdom. A real country. It's hard. It's hard to. It's hard to recall. I mean, they, they used to. Well, not real. Right. Welcome aboard, Tabo, everybody. Hey, Tabo. Can uh, we get a sax lick later in the episode, maybe? Just a quick saxophone oh solo. Oh, God, I'll have to put it together. I've got it, like, over there. Wait, but it's, it's, you'll have time. We have many ad breaks. Yeah, that's right. We have a lot of ad breaks. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. I, can, I respect I can, this. I can put it together. Tell me, if there's something you should know about this show, we are hemorrhaging money. That's right. <laughs> I mean, thank God you've got that ad place. You know how much oh. this costs right here? I mean, it's expensive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I can, half I can the budget. see. I can see a fortune, a damn fortune. <laughs> that, yeah. That's half the budget and half the blood in my body. Let me that's tell you. That's right. We have something called the Austin Hush Slush Fund just yeah. to keep people quiet. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, next wow. up, ladies and gentlemen, he had such a good time last time, but he lost. Yep. So we brought him back to try and redeem himself. Schlatt, are you going to suck a little less? I wouldn't have written that in the prompter. <laughs> Schlatt, welcome aboard the show, everybody. Round of applause. Schlatt's here. Schlatt, what are you Listen eating? Listen to me, Austin. Looking at... Looking at you right now, you can't be asking me if I'm going to suck anything. Hey, look, let me tell you something, Schlatt. Easter is was was just a couple weeks ago. Can we move that suit? Move that suit. All right, Schlatt, everybody. Hey, move that table. Okay, no, relax. Jesus Christ. What are you eating, Schlatt? Chicken. Nice. Oh, chicken breast or thigh? Now I don't know. Now, Schlatt, are you team horsecock? What? No, that's what the chat keeps spamming every time you're oh, on the man. screen is Team Horsecock. Oh, I'm, I'm Team Duck Cock. Team Duck Cock, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up, everybody. Wow. You, you want to see something incredible? Well, sure, let's see it. Oh, we're banned. Oh, we're banned. Can what you, the fuck? Can you say, Schlatt, what the fuck, man? What are you trying to do? Get us canceled? I don't, I don't take no responsibility for that. Hey, you gave me the green light. Hey, we're off next week. It doesn't matter. Listen, I, I never knew a duck's feet were shaped like that. Yeah, I've never man. seen a duck out of the water. I have never seen duck feet shaped like that. Yeah, that's how they're that's shaped. That's right. That's how, if anybody's watching, duck feet, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Jay Schlatt. Contestant number three is also one of our favorite Minecraft guys. <laughs> He's had a solid showing in the last few <laughs> Minecraft championship. <laughs> Sake, man, if you mention, if you say the word Minecraft one more fucking time, he's a British Minecrafter. About me. But please don't hold that against him, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Manifold. Yes. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that intro. You know, I love Minecraft. I, I play it all the time. I play Minecraft every day. I know you do. Is your hat lit up? Yeah, your guys wouldn't let me wear my normal hat, so I had to go grab what I had on deck, and well, it was yeah, he's this getting LED shafted hat. by legal. Wait, he's what the hell? <laughs> What the hell? What, what kind of hat were you wearing before? This is I, a toned I, down hat? I, I don't know if I can tell you because of legal. No, you can yeah, say I, you I mean, got a different hoodie. We'll, we'll, get well. Manifold legal on, we'll get Manifold legal. Legal's on. doesn't. They, they, legal can only control things before the broadcast, they yeah. can't control things on the broadcast. Isn't that right, legal? I'm getting word that my job is on the line. It just came through my headset. I'll, I'll sit back down. I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll where I am. I'll no, you can't am. show it on the screen, but you can tell us what it was. Oh, I can tell you, it, it, it was Balenciaga. They got really sad about it. Uh, I don't know why. Oh yeah, we know Balenciaga. They crawling watch stuff. Yeah, they do. They do crawling every corner of the internet, That's looking right. for, f looking to take down channels freely promoting their products. That's right. We all know that Balenciaga, <laughs> terrible. They're gonna hey, hey. drum up a lawsuit and sue us for wearing a fucking hat. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let right me get rid of the Pope in the back. Yeah, well, then that is well. The information's looking a, a lot right, better pope. right now. You know my Pope that I usually have right there? They made me get rid of him. Yeah, really? Yeah, they made me, they said, get it out of there. Could you imagine Austin, the optics please, of the Vatican suing us? I think, I think <laughs> I'm Come, gonna get need, sued. I'm not gonna say that. We need what I'm to about let to this happen. <laughs> Could you imagine how good that, legal, listen, look at how good that would be for us if the Vatican sued us. Are you kidding me? It would be Great global. Press. It'd be global Great news. Press. Wouldn't be their worst PR disaster. No. <laughs> Austin, I was also talking to legal and, you know, I was asking her about the bargain that we made about if, you know, if I'll be receiving, you know, some of that 70s good stuff. 
Oh, computer, oh, you know, you called me in a bind. oh, you're talking about the good stuff. That's right. We found a bottle of authentic 70s Quaaludes, and the winner gets them today. Yes! That's oh. right. That's right. Tubbo has no idea what those are. What is that? All right. You, you don't want to know. All right. Our final guest today is a filmmaker, a photographer, and a comedian. He's got a million subs on YouTube, and you might know him as the Milkman, That's ladies right. and gentlemen. Give it up for Ted Nivison, That's everybody. Right. Hey. This What's man up? has I'm... personally put his milk in my mouth before. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, That's right. I did, and he loved it. I he loved every second of it. Like a good little baby boy. Yes, you did. Oh, that. My bones and you're felt strong. And you're looking fabulous today. Oh, thank you're you. You're looking thank absolutely you. dashing in thank that you. pink. That pink, oh man. Oh, he doesn't God. even know what it is. No. Uh, I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's a blouse. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> because I'm lacking what Austin promised me when I told him I'd go on this show. Oh, what's, oh, okay, Ted. Ooh, okay, well, Ted, we'll talk about that later because I definitely know legal's going to have a problem with that. Give it up for gorgeous Ted. Unbelievable. Oh, whoa, we have that time. Give it again, one more time. Yeah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, are you guys, do you have any questions before, well, we haven't even got over the rules. You guys ready to play Name Your Prize? Mm -hmm. I have, uh, no, oh, let me, yeah. are you gonna go over the rules first? Yes, no, we will right go now. over the rules. We will go oh, over okay, the rules. Okay, then yeah, sure. All yeah, right, yeah, well, yeah, no. Here we go. These are the rules mm -hmm. of Name Your Prize. This is how it's gonna go. In round number one, I'm gonna show you an item that I personally bought online, and whoever gets this closest to the actual prize, we'll win points. Oh, nice. All right, in round number two, tell them what's gonna happen, Will. Oh, round number two is dealer's choice. You never know what game you're gonna play, but there's a good chance it'll make a mess and someone will get hurt, courtesy of Mix. All right, all right, now, in round number three, we've got the count. We'll present a large quantity of something, and you'll have to figure out how much of that there is. That's All right. right. And I'm, in the I'm wondering how much of that you got right now, Austin. Uh, well, Can you move the table real quick? All right. Look, Schlatt, come on now. Proportionally, he's just like the duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the final round, ladies and gentlemen, we bring out the haunted board. Ooh. Look at that. Wow, how do you know oh, it's haunted, Will? Oh, the lightning, obviously. Yes, and the, and the spider And the seizure-inducing camera movements. Oh, yeah. It's still anybody's game up right in, until the end of the show. All right. All right, without further ado, Will. Yes. Let's run that graphic I forgot to run right before the rules. Let's oh, play sure. Name Your Prize. Right. Here we go. That's right, here we go. Right there. Okay, we're gonna jump right into the first game. Right away, we've got a mystery moment. Contestants, are you listening? Yes. Okay, near the end of the game, I'm going to reveal a moment that happened during the show, and you ha you're going to have to guess how many times it happened, okay? And that's all I'm gonna tell you. Whoever's closest to the correct amount will get 25 points. Whoa, that's Does that make sense, contestants? Wow. Just pay attention yeah. to every single detail. Now, we're about to go into round number one. Just a reminder, I'm gonna show you some products. Whoever guesses closest to the price we bought them for will get 10 points. All right, let's bring out the products and bringing out our lovely products is the beautiful, the wonderful, the highly underpaid, Just A Minx, everybody. Yes. Round of applause. Everybody give her a wave. Minx, you want to say hello to anybody? Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. All right, and who else? That's it, all right, let's see our first item, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, our first item. This is how it's gonna go. This is, a, this is a Girl Scout vest, everybody. And from the listing, let's take a look at it. This Girl Scout vest was from the 1970s. It has 65 patches and 15 pins. The listing says, please give it a good home. The vest ships from Madison, Wisconsin. Let's take a look at that. Why don't you put that on, Will? Oh, uh, what the fuck yeah. Buy this. Well, actually, Minx, maybe, weird... maybe Minx, Minx, come on, Austin. Out here. Why would you buy that personally? Excuse yeah, that's a I... really weird product. Wait, actually, you said you, know... you said you were, you said you bought this item personally. Okay, why they, would you I, buy that I just personally? say that to make the show seem a bit more authentic. But I did not buy this oh. one personally. Actually, it's kind of fashionable, isn't it? Look at this, the Girl Scout vest. Take a look. Wow. Well, do a little spin. Show us the fresh. back of it, Minx. It's got, it's got. Patches all over the back of it. Ooh, I'd buy wow. some cookies. Wow, look at that. 
Look I gotta be at honest with you, this looks, her like thing, a, man. this looks like a hangover outfit after a vicious night out. A vicious night out, Ted. What is that? Vicious. What, is it? what does a vicious night out look like? Uh, dip a whole cocktail of drugs. Oh, yeah. oh. I, I'll be honest, it looks Whoa. like she's ran into a gang of tiny bikers and stolen one of their vests. <laughs> All right. Does anybody have up any, a, that a joke Girl only Scout landed with Austin? Okay, you know what? Does anybody, <laughs> does anybody? Does anybody have any questions uh, about this vest? Yes. Can it? Uh, can it be taken off Minx? And, uh, can she leave? <laughs> I mean, sure. If it'll help you guess the price, I do believe we could do that. Go ahead and pop it off, Minx. What? I'm sorry, Minx. They said I could model today. No, yeah, I'm so sorry, Minx. Well, uh, plans have changed. said in the dressing room I could model. Plans have changed, Minx. I'm so sorry. You're pulling focus. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Thank you, Mix. Have a seat over there. Thank you. All right, uh, let me try and guess some of these here merit badges. It looks like we got a. Uh, oh, hang on one second. Uh, we got keys. Uh, we got bonfire building. We got crock potting. We got a bindle stick. That's Can what hobos swim? carry. Yeah, uh, that's right. It was the 70s. All right, how much do you think this cost? Tubbo, what do you think? You go first today. What do you think? How much do you think we bought this for? Oh God! I just what? I just go for it. How much I think it costs? Yes, yes, that's what it's called. Name your price. <laughs> is it? Is it a collector's item? Is this something that people have weird obsessions with? Like, do people like? It's not actively sort over the badges. Nope. Is this gonna be? We literally the type bought of it off eBay. We're gonna have spent like loads of money on. We just bought to it have off the eBay. Picture. You bought it off eBay, second hand. Yep, second hand. That's right. Was it an auction or a buy it now? It was a buy it now. Oh, go on. I'm going. Is it in dollars or pounds? Dollars. <laughs> okay. Why the hell Why would we weigh this pounds? thing? <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, it's got to be like. It's got to. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like $60? <laughs> 60, dollars? 60 US $60. dollars! Oh, 60 dollars. Oh. I, I don't know, man. All right. Schlatt, what do you think? 30 bucks. 30 dollars! Oh god, I shot way too high. I shot way too high. Fuck. Jack Manifold. $47.50. $47.50? Which price? $47 or 50? <laughs> no, I, it's all good. They all wrote right. it down already, Will. It's, it's, all right, I, okay. All right. Way. Ted Nivison, how much did this cost us? I think it was 15 bucks. 15, 15 bucks. Bargain basement prices. That's for right. This collectible. Well, let me tell you, Will, yes. this costs $34.99, which means Schlatt gets 10 points. Right out the gate. Schlatt taking the lead out the gate. Ladies and gentlemen. Money, man. I know exactly how this works. Don't be discouraged. The rest of the There's no way. There's plenty of game to play right, and more ad breaks mm. right after this break. Ooh. We'll be right back after this with more Name Your Prize. Stick around. We guessed one item and there's a break? Yes, yeah, there is. Shut up, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> now go to the goddamn break. Hey, welcome aboard. We're back with Name Your Prize. That wasn't so bad, was it, Jack Manifold? I mean, I, I just sat there for a minute and a half. I started showing everyone my knife. Oh, really? Can you oh, show the class your knife? knife? Oh, yeah, my. I got a knife. That's Look. the legal maximum oh, in this. That's the most knife. pathetic knife I've ever seen it's in my it's entire it's life. A Swiss Army <laughs> knife. That's not a knife. <laughs> that's right, that's right not a knife. Right next to me, buddy. Oh my right God. Next I think buddy. I have a bigger knife than that. Yeah, yeah me too. for carrying around in the UK. That's I just oh, had 100%. Yeah, just you can do some lethal damage. Schlatt, what the fuck? Put away from me. Schlatt, put away from me. You don't have any other weapons in there, do you? All right. What? Never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's the that is you can't have a knife much bigger than that, Jack, in the UK. Is that correct? Yeah, pretty much. I, I think this is about as big as they get. Um, I literally I mean, have a know, bigger knife. You can barely well, I mean, clean yeah, I mean, your nails. Yeah, I mean, kitchen knife, sure, but I mean, outside the kitchen, you know, this is kind of this is kind of your maximum. I used it. Who says a kitchen yarn. knife's just for the kitchen? Why are you, you showing it off like you're yarn a second ago? Cut through like butter. What uh, is which it? Which is you know. <laughs> it's like I've never really cut much. What else is the point butter. of that? There's really not you know, any yarn. I mean, that's that's the only purpose I found so far. Well, anyway. now I've got a shorter piece of yarn. Amazing round of applause for that, Jack. All Let me right. Guess the price on that knife? Two fifty. <laughs> Maybe actually, three bucks. You want to know how much bag. I paid for it? I paid twenty Great British pence. Oh my! Twenty Great British. Why'd they laugh at that? It's just 
Because your currency is so laughable. Whimsical. No, it's, it's strong. You know it's stronger than the dollar? Yeah, it's because $1. nobody $1. fucking uses it. to each it. pound. No, I... Nobody okay. uses it. It's supply and demand. Whatever. I don't know how it works. Bring out our next product, ladies and gentlemen. Just a minx bringing out our next product. What the fuck There we is go. That? Oh, Back look tonight. Oh, look at this. Okay, so there's a little backstory to this little product right here. In the 80s, McDonald's was trying to get rid of Ronald McDonald. And so they decided a cool product to replace Ronald McDonald's was Mac Tonight. So this is a vintage 1988 Fundex McDonald's Mac Tonight figure. You might know him better. Nobody knows him better because nobody was born when this was alive on this show when this was out. This was also called the Moon Man. Mac has never seen the light of the day. Moon Man. Until this person took the pictures. This ships from Vista, California. This is Mac Tonight. It's evidently never seen the light of day. It never made it. On the back of the board here, it says, Hey, cats, I'm Mac Tonight, the hip star of McDonald's advertising. <laughs> How the fuck? The hip star McDonald's advertising, just my presence will lend a cool, classy atmosphere in any setting. Complete the mood with some of your favorite jazzy swing tunes. Wow. That is, <laughs> and that, a fucking hamburger. And a hamburger. <laughs> so, Sean Lair, check it out here. Take, take a look at this. Hey, Back tonight. Uh, gentle with that. It's a collectible, incredible. you ding dong. Yeah, all right. Well, to, 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 Tubbo, you look absolutely Thanks, dumbfounded. <laughs> You're dumbfounded. Dude, why are you bringing out this obscure crap? I thought it was going to be like cereal. I thought it was going to be like, right, how much is this box of cereal? Glad to know like, you watched the what, show, Tabo. What is this, like, moon with sunglasses? Tabo? It's, it's Mac tonight, Tabo. This has been made abundantly clear. I don't understand. I don't know how we can give you any more fucking background, I'm Tabo. I'm actually fucking bewildered. Well, I will say that there's a little bit of a description that seems it's written in the voice of Mac on the back there. Yeah. And there, Will, you know, hey, would you give me a little performance? Yeah, I think that's probably the problem is he didn't do the voice. Hang on. Hey, cats, I'm Mac tonight, the hip star of McDonald's advertising. Just my presence will lend a cool, classy atmosphere in any setting. Complete the mood with some of your favorite jazzy swing tunes. Uh, That's it, hipsters. Sit back and enjoy with Mac okay, tonight. Okay, so now now I get it. I thought you were talking. This was a different Mac tonight, but yeah. that's Mac tonight. I All right, know. now you got it. All right, so Schlatt, you're in the lead. How much does this cost? Um, fifty-five bucks and one McChicken to make a video with. Okay, so so that would be fifty-six bucks. Fifty-six dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Fifty-six dollars is Schlatt's guess. Tabo, what do you think? Oh man, I've got no idea, dude. This is so obscure. You said it was vintage and you said it was collect like a collector's item. I'm gonna say $80. Yeah, nothing more obscure than McDonald's. You can <laughs> hardly find those things. <laughs> yeah, just fuck me, I guess. Okay. <laughs> we will not be doing that, Tabo. <laughs> It's one thing about name your prize, we are not inappropriate. That no, was very not inappropriate. Once, no. not never. No. Jesus Step Christ. Step out from behind that table. <laughs> Jack Manifold, how much do you think this? Hey. Hey, Jack. Um, look, look, look. I, I think Mac tonight is an obscure enough little character that people are going to be really interested in him. Mm. I think he's worth something. Okay. I mean, the production value, it, what's he made of? Could you give it like a, a fun Yes, it's, it's like a nice, soft foam. Yes. He's made of foam. Yeah. Right. Okay, maybe. See, maybe see, what, I'm doing here? Bit. <laughs> see what I'm doing yeah. here? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's nice. Right. Um, I'm going to drop my price a little bit. Then. I'm going to go for like $85. $85. $85. Macaronis. All right. Ted, what do you think? You know, with all things considered, looking at the quality of the piece and all that, I'm going to say it's got to be $15. 15 $15. $15. What if I told you it was made of asbestos? Yeah, that's how they keep it that's so fresh. That's going to drive up the price a lot. That stuff's hard to come by. It yeah. really is. Let me yeah, tell you. Sell Have you or a loved one gotten mesothelioma from enjoying Mac tonight? <laughs> you could be entitled to compensation. That's right. We've all seen the ads. We've all seen it. Yep. Do you guys have? You don't have it's got to be fifteen dollars. Right. There's no way that that is a cent well, over fifteen. Let me tell you, Ted, you're really onto something. 
Something completely incorrect. Ted, you what? got it wrong. You know who got it right? Jay Sh Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Jay Slide, yes, yes, he got it right, 10 points. Yeah, I did it again. I did it again. The actual price, <laughs> Tubbo, you guessed it, $67.50. So, yeah. That what was do you right. mean, Tubbo, you guessed it? Oh, I don't know. He, 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 you know what? Shut up. Thanks, man. I guessed it. No, you're right. I really outdid right. myself. I think you should one. get some. I think maybe he should get some points for that since he guessed it. You, no, yeah, he I guessed, guessed it. Easy. He didn't guess it. Tubbo and Schlatt, you, you look similar. Maybe you said know. that. Shut up. I'm just confused a All little right. bit because I'm having a really hard time conceptualizing anything being more than fifteen dollars. That's what I'm really having a yeah. hard time with yeah. right now. That'll do it. Ted, Ted, the inflation rate is like. 9% due to sleepy Joe Biden. Yeah, we're printing you're gonna, money you're like gonna crazy. Know, you're going to know high prices sooner or later. Yeah, Schlatt voted for Donald Trump. Isn't that right, Schlatt? Well, you know what? There's one thing I'll say. Jesus Christ, the greatest <laughs> person in world history. It's true. It's true. Round of applause for that. Is that All a right. bumper sticker? Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's bring in our next item, ladies and gentlemen. This is a crap cl oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, nice job, Manx. It did not, did not devalue it whatsoever. This is a clown plaque mm. from the listing. Yep. It says it's a metal clown figure that stands about six inches high. Ooh. The clown is mounted on a nice walnut plaque. Mm. It does have the remnants of what looks like the tape residue. Mm. It ships from York, Nebraska. Clowning enthusiasts everywhere are lining up for this wall plaque. Tubbo, this is a little less obscure, isn't it? Tubbo, go ahead. my hand. Um, where are you buying this stuff? Where do we buy Like, Where we, do you buy this? We bought this on eBay. Is everything on here from eBay? Yes. Or Craigslist. Oh, Lord. Or Goodwill. Okay. Okay. Now, Tubbo. This is a high value piece. Say over $100. In this is a high dollar a item right here. Well, Come we on. don't know this. Okay. Schlatt, you would never lie to me, would you? I don't lie. I didn't think you lie. I don't think you've Jesus ever told a lie ever. Lie Everything you say is you know how you think. All right. And we're also you know going to say this the winner of the show will receive this clown plaque, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen. That's right. I this. All right, Tubbo, oh, do you right. want... Schlatt, you... I'm sorry. Tubbo or Schlatt can guess first? Tubbo first. Tubbo, go oh. ahead. Oh, you're so kind, man. Yeah. You're so kind. Yeah. I'm going to say there is no way this is well, more before, than $9. Well, before you guess, There's Tubbo, no way. I just want you to think about the significance of clown culture in Nebraska. You studied up oh, on that before. Wait, I forgot to consider clown culture in Nebraska. I'm going to go $109. Wait. Wow. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. There you go. I to consider the culture, man. Price sense. comes down to culture. $109. Yep. All right, Ted, yeah. you, why don't you go up next, Ted, since you are a clown aficionado. Ted, uh, mm. you've gone $15 both times. Isn't that correct? Yeah, it is. What are you going to go this time, Ted? Uh, you know, it's there's a lot of things to be considered here. I mean, you've got the beautiful golden shimmer on that clown fuck on that nice walnut. Maybe it's a cherry walnut. He's also pregnant. Oh, yeah. He's also Is it made child. He's nine months pregnant. If you get lucky, he'll give birth and you'll have but another you clown statue. The, but at the same time, if you consider the clown situation that happened in 2016, that also kind of reduces the price from people who have trauma from that. Mm. Yes. Why didn't you mention this uh, to me? I got to say $45. $45. $45. <laughs> Jack Manifold, what do you think? You see, it's an interesting point because I agree with a lot of Ted's points and I was actually looking at a similar ballpark, but I feel like it's stupid to guess the same thing. Will, could you could you give that, what more material is that clown? Is that golden? Is it silver? Is that the lighting of the studio? Uh, well, this is give metal. Me, uh, give it a light. It's probably a very cheap metal that has been spray painted gold. <laughs> ah, okay, good to know, good to know. Um, it's plastic. If you, if you were to grab it and just kind of bend it, can you, can you bend it? At all? Is this, do you no, really no, want to okay. do this? It's, no. no, it's it's sturdy. Do you really want me it's to? It's very that. sturdy. You want me to execute Bozo? Sturdy. You better not okay. devalue this I thing. I'm going to need every cent. Mm. And I'm going to say 47.50. 47.50. <laughs> All right. 
Did I guess that already? There he is. Yeah, you did. All right. Oh, you tore him off. Schlatt, ah. what do you think? Now he's freestanding. Absolutely, uh, listen, I mean, Ted did bring up good points, and I mean... This is already this, broken? If this was... If this... If you broke it. You broke it. <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> no! You broke our prize? We'll put him back to yeah, a thing. We, about, look, there fuck, you go. That's how you prize. receive it right fuck. there. Well, oh, I mean, at the end of the day, that's not the main prize I'm here for, if you know what I'm talking about, oh. Austin. Hey, there's a line. Get in line, Ted. Mm -hmm. There Schluck, will be a this, line. There Schluck, will be a line. How much? If, if this was from Staten I Island, maybe there'd be some value there because that is where that whole 2016 clown incident started, Ted, yep. if you remember. I do, I but, do. But, hey, listen, from Nebraska, I'm not feeling... I, I feel like everyone's a little too high on this. And, Ted, I'm actually going to fuck you over right now, and I'm going to bid uh, 44. And Schlatt... You would be correct! Nice job, Slab! Ten actual price! Fifteen dollars! Fifteen dollars! Victory in Jesus, baby! Fifteen dollars! What's so frustrating here, folks, is we- It was fifteen dollars? Fifteen dollars on the button, and I tried to let you know, but you blew it. And, and Tubbo, you would have gotten it correct had you not increased your guess by a hundred dollars, Tubbo! I just failed to take into consideration the clown culture. Well, That's I know, and Ted... I was on the fence between $9 or over $100, and that I couldn't decide. And Ted said something, it pushed me I over can't the believe... edge, and I made a rational decision that I'm going to regret for the rest I of my life. I knew it. I knew it. What I was saying earlier about the $15, I was right. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Team Duckcock is taking... A huge lead. He's got 30 points while the rest of everybody has zero. When we come back, we will see if anybody else can get on the board and name your prize. Be right back. All right. No. Oh. Had to pick up my balls there. There we go. Welcome back to Name Your Prize. Let's get a look at those scores, everybody. Tubbo in dead last place with zero points, joined by Jack Manifold and Ted Nivison. Oh, yeah. The lone leader, ladies and gentlemen, with 30 points, Mr. Jay Schlatt, everybody! Wow! Come on, you're too kind, you're too kind. Unbelievable. See what happens when you follow Christ? Yep. Let's bring out our next product with Tubbo. This is something recognizable for you. You will know this one. This is a vintage toothbrush. Mm. That's right, Tubbo. It's the original, I kid you not, the first ever in history. Tubbo, you got to know this one. This is a vintage electric toothbrush. I got it. It's the first ever electric toothbrush, okay? Never been opened. We're about to do it for the first time. It works. It's from the 1960s. It's uh, the yellow toothbrush head plastic wrapper is slightly ripped, okay? Take a I look at it. We're gonna, it a lot. Oh my God, where the hell is the brush? Okay. Oh my, okay, so let's take a look. Let's take a show the, look, let, let's, get a, let's get a close up of this real quick. Look at this right here. It's an electric tooth. We have, uh, it has never been used before, folks. We are going to plug it in and use it for the very first time on Name Your Price. Take a look. This, should it be that yellow? Like, is, is, is it yellowed with age? Take a look, everybody. Oh, yellowed with flavor. UV. No, no. Yeah, that's right. We're going to plug it in. We're going to see if it works. It should work. Oh! All right. Here we go. Ready? Oh, my. No, 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 Minx, Minx, no, Minx, no, no, oh my god, no. Minx, no, we need some, no, no, Minx, no, no, Minx, please, we know you haven't loved in a while, but please, Minx, it's for your teeth, this is a teeth cleaning device, not a Sibian Minx, yes, it's for those, it's not for those, yeah, anyway, it does, it, it does work, and it, you have to hold it down to vibrate, anyway, how much do you think this costs? It's a little... Won't stop vibrating. Oh, it's the other switch. How much do you think this costs? Tubbo, what do you think? Come on, Tubbo, look at this. I want Tubbo's you to get this correct, Tubbo. This. Tubbo, what do you uh, know about electric tooth cleaning culture? I... Nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nothing. What do you clean your you teeth with, Tubbo? They don't brush their a teeth toothbrush. Ah. Oh, my. What do you mean? Look at my teeth. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful fucking pearly whites. Yeah, you. It's Honestly, I don't know what you want me to say, man. 
Every every everything you brought out, I'm like, oh wow, this is like one of those stupid things you'd see on a TV show, like Antique Roadshow, and they're like, oh, oh yeah, I can stupid I can, things I can you'd buy see on this a TV show, huh? Ten quid and like I can flip it for like a million or something. I I've got no idea. This is stuff is so stupid. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Tubbo. There's another show that guesses the prices of items. You may have heard of it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, We're sorry, trying name to... your price. Name your price. Yes. Hold on, does does Manifold know anything about this product? Manifold, what I'm do you use to brush an electric... I, I use an electric toothbrush, Ooh. much like this one. Why don't you yeah. field the first guess, then? Well, mm, this is the thing. Electric toothbrushes are actually quite expensive. I think oh. I paid around 100 Great British Pounds for mine. Wow! Wow! Whoa! That's yeah. like a However, thousand American dollars. That's right. So, I think so. It's true. Especially in the 70s. Yes. And that's like one of the first ones ever. But also, I feel like it, like practically speaking, it, it's kind of poor. So, um... What do you mean? Like financially, like the toothbrush itself doesn't have much... I feel like that toothbrush isn't that practical. I feel like it doesn't look that good in terms of its, its te teeth cleaning qualities. Okay, well then give it us a guess, break. Jack. Sure. Uh, let's go for seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars. Wow. Ted Nivison, how much do you think? Go seventy-four. Get the lower end of them. Don't the, do that, Ted. Get the poison out, Ted. Seven, go Ted, seventy-six. Go ahead, Ted, Ted, get that poison. You fuck them over. You know, I had a an inkling mm. throughout this show. Okay. And I trusted my inkling for the longest time. And then it betrayed me when I second guessed my heart. But no longer, no longer. Mm. Men. I think that this toothbrush <laughs> costs $15. $15! $15! <laughs> All right, Tubbo, I'm going to give you the next guess. I really want you to get on the board here. Oh, yeah. Door's wide open. You got this, Tubbo. You got this, oh, Tubbo. Man. Come on. I believe in you. Tubbo, okay. go $74. I'm gonna go. Get the lower end. Get the Don't lower end. Don't you dare go $14. Don't tell him what to guess. He's his own man. Don't you dare go $14. Guys, six, uh, please, my individuality, it's fading. Thank right. you. Exactly. Thank you, Tubbo. Stand up for yourself. Okay. I'm going to go for $76. $76! 76 Dolores. All right. Schlatt, Jay Schlatt, hmm. he currently has 30 points. If he guesses this item correct, he will be the only person in Name Your Price history to sweep the first round. Schlatt, how much? Should I do 74 or 77? Schlatt, I don't know. Hmm. We cannot help 74. you. 74. 74. We cannot don't help do that you. To me. <laughs> don't do that to me, man. 74. $74. $74. Wait, let me see. Who, Why have I been who, who got it correct? Why have I been sandwiched between the two answers? Jack, you got to be it real. Ladies and gentlemen, really breaking a record on Name Your Prize, Jay Schlatt! Yes! Actual oh, price, $45. Schlatt! <laughs> <laughs> 40 oh, points, hey, ladies and gentlemen! On Judgment Day, you'll wish your car had Jesus stickers. That's that all I'm going to say. That was the last number that I guessed was 45. That's right. He ah, has the hell? swept the first round. Isn't that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So easy. Swept. It's just so easy. Completely yeah, swept the first round. No, I actually, wait. Hold on. I'm actually hearing that we have one more item, folks. Oh, my God. Schlatt, you haven't done it yet. You haven't done it yet. Tabo, I promise this one you'll understand completely. I honestly, I cannot wait to understand the hell out of You will this know exactly stuff. what this is, Tabo. I'm going to understand this so damn good. Tabo, it is a portable toy projector from the 1950s. That's you know exactly right. what this is, Tabo, don't That's you? That's right. I, I just I just know what this is, and I can't wait to play He knows what he fact, knows exactly. He knows exactly what it is, all right? From the listing, I think I'm ready. It projects an image up to four feet wide. This item is from the 1950s. If you plug it in, you'll electrocute yourself. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> All right. It's used What's for nursery school scout into? meetings, shut ins, and more. Does it, it even include lead paint? No, potentially. This ships if you're from. A lucky little boy. <laughs> this ships from the very famous 
Skokie, Illinois. Ooh, Skokie. Have you been to Skokie, Will? Ooh, lovely Skokie. Well, tell me about Skokie, oh, Illinois. Oh, they got a delicious, delicious cheese curd you can get in Skokie. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's what they're known for, isn't it? No. Okay. You're not known for anything, really. <laughs> All right. He got it in Buffalo Wild Wings, actually. Yeah, that's right. All right. Tubbo, I want to give you the first guess. How much do you and think And you know what? I would love the first. Can I run you through my train of thought? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me. So, run us through. You know, in Fallout, where you collect like the stupid like things, and they do like a little thing up on screen that's like, "Wow, you got this." Yep. Like it looks like one of those, and that makes me think this thing, this this pricey. I'm thinking, I'm thinking definitely anywhere in the ballpark from sixty-five to a hundred dollars. I think that's wow. our. I think that's our okay. range. Okay. Well, give us what you think. What's in that range? I think it. I think I'm gonna go on the higher end. I think I've got to say like, like. I've got to say, like, $78 and probably 20 pence. $78 and... Can we... 20 pence. So 78 US I mean, 20 dollars. cents, whatever your oh, tw little 20 cents, is. okay. 78 20 ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Tubbo. Oh, yes. All right. Now, Jack Manifold, what do you think? You see, I keep overvaluing everything. I think everything's more expensive than it is. Mm. And I, I think... Clearly, I've completely lost touch, and I find that this is in no way practical. I mean, how do you even play things on that? How do you even play <coughs> things on that? Well, I don't uh, know. We do don't you know. have anything you can play? Oh, I got it. So you put this end on what you want to broadcast, wherever the image is, goes through a system of mirrors, and then with a light bulb, tell A system of mirrors? Yeah, a system of mirrors. I I, I think it's terrible. I think it's an awful thing. Uh, yeah, well, I think, I think you're wrong and stupid. I think no one's going to use it, and I think it's probably worth... It doesn't matter what you think. It matters $7. what the market thinks. $7! Okay. I am the market, Ted. Ted, what do you think? Well, I mean, you know, there's a lot of factors going into this. Yeah, Ted, you've been on range, a ride. Rage, range from the specific to the nebulous. I mean, you've mm. got the original box made of high quality, dense, perforated cardboard. You've got a uh, plastic uh, casing, um, two very shockingly terrifying looking children on the front looking like something out of my nightmares. Please pan the camera away. Please, pa please pan the camera away from that. I don't want to, please, thank you. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm just gonna have to go with uh, fifteen dollars. All right, fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. All right, Schlatt. I feel like you put it's me in a all on the line right, right, right here, Schlatt. If you get this correct, you will clinch the first round, giving yourself fifty points. Will I get anything special? Yes. From you, we'll maybe? send you the projector. We'll send you the projector and oh. the clown. Pause champ in the chat. Bucks, 50 bucks. 50, 50 bucks. Dollars. 50 bucks. Ladies and gentlemen, Schlatt had an opportunity to clinch this. And let me tell you, folks, he didn't. Incorrect. Ted, 10 points. Actual price, 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks. $20. From an inbox thing from the 50s? That's right. It was $20. Holy shit. That's Exactly. It's a terrible product, as I said. That's 10 uh, points. Four, That's exactly what we paid for it. Ted, you blew oh my God. You blew it for Schlatt. Schlatt, you are still oh in the lead with 40 points. God. Tubbo and Jack not really representing England very well at all. No. no. I don't understand your dumb currency and its values. It makes no sense. Everything's... I'm feeling Would a lot you of remind him that we won the Take war? The loss. That's Take right. the loss. I'm feeling a lot of baby. Whoa, rage. Whoa. I think I think I think you forgot. We beat your ass in the Revolutionary That's War, Jack. Right. And we're still hanging on to that. That's wow. right. Wow. The British gave up the shithole, and you were like, "Well, oh. we won. We, oh, you we gave won it up. You mean land, guys? You mean the most successful country of all time? Hey, That's, we're there, That's right. right. I don't remember giving you and China. Proudly stand <laughs> up next to you and defend her still today. That's we'll right. be right back after this commercial break. God I bless the USA. Welcome back to Name Your Price, everybody. I'm here with me, myself, and I, and my irrelevant Bye. guests. 
All right, welcome back, everybody. Do that. All right. Get her out of here, security. She's crazy. Welcome back, Austin, everybody. Are you back? Ah. are you back, Austin? Yeah, I'm back. Where are you? There right he here. is. Hey. Hey, man. Round of I got applause. scared for a second. I know, but it's okay. Tabo, where are you? Why are you? Oh, is that the saxophone? Oh, no, oh, he's no. playing video games. Oh. Wait, Tubbo, wait, you actually want me to get the saxophone out? Yes! Saxophone! Oh, shit. Saxophone! Okay, oh, in the studio, saxophone! Saxophone! Didn't even do it. Saxophone! Do it right. Saxophone! Double camera set While Tubbo, got, it. got it. While Tubbo gets out his saxophone, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for round number two. That's right. Which means it's dealer's choice. That's right. I'm going to be handed a sealed envelope containing one of the many games we're going to play. Minx, what's our first game? Let's see. Oh, Ooh. oh, 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 hey, oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. oh shit. Okay, Tabo, get that ready. We're gonna play our first game. Our first game, ladies and gentlemen, is called Looks, looks like. like. All right, looks like. Looks like. Now, Tabo, pay attention. Very important. Okay, that's right. Very important. In this game, you'll be shown several food items right. that look like something else. Ooh. And you'll have to guess what they sold for on the internet. That's right. Whoever is closest will get how many points? 20. 20 points! All right. Now, Tebo, before we get into that, Tebo, why don't you give us a little saxophone? Cut our music. Cut our music. Cut the music. Wait, guys, please. I'm not ready for this kind of pressure. Come on, Tebo. Let's go. All right, take your time. Never mind, just play now. Oh! Oh! Come on, Tubbo! Oh, keep, keep, keep going! Keep going, Tubbo, we'll dance to it. Ready? Bam, bam, bam. Oh, go. Oh. Oh, my God, he's off the map. Legal's losing their mind. They're going to bleep this out on Oh, yeah! Oh my yeah. God, is that bird over there? Oh That's... my God, it's wow. Bill Clinton. Wait, I don't know. Man, what? He's pretty good. What? What? Oh. What? Oh. oh. God damn, one more lick. Give us one more lick. I don't know any licks. One more Dude, lick. I started learning. Hit it. Like Hit it. Little Hit little it. Come on, we're waiting Hit for it. it. Come on, Tubbo. It. Come on, Tubbo. Hit it. What? That's my shit right there. Give it up for Tubbo. <laughs> Give it up for Tubbo. Now oh, put yes. that fucking thank thing away. Hurry up. Thank you. All right. Austin, I could play a little bit of skin flute. Oh, okay. <laughs> I bet you can. I can. Your throat's not deep enough, Schlatt. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we had such There's a no nice moment with anymore. the saxophone, and then... <laughs> <laughs> you just removed all salty from this bit. Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, as, as I said, we're gonna show you an item that looks like something else that was sold for on the internet, right? Usually comes from food. All right, here's the first item. This is a cornflake that looks like the state of Illinois. Oh, clearly. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. Oh, clearly. Two sisters, it... two sisters from Virginia put it up on eBay. The winning bidder in, is the owner of a trivia website. It was oh, yeah. sold in March of 2008. Clearly, it looks like the state of Illinois. That's right. How much? Which is a very distinctive state. Did they pay? Where is Illinois? Illinois is in Chicago. <laughs> oh, no, wait. no, uh, that's not. Wait, no. oh, middle wait, of that's the country. Right. Middle, middle of the side. country. The one that you don't learn whole, about in other countries. That's right. The whole state is in one city. Yeah, yeah you <laughs> couldn't believe it, Ted. <laughs> Once I saw it, though, yeah. my eyes opened. Now, Tubbo, you have a chance of getting halfway to Schlatt's points if you get this correct. So I'm going to give you the first guess. Tubbo, how much? Uh, it's got to be something ridiculous, isn't it? How if, much? It's, if you know what year it was purchased and who put it on eBay, it's, it's going to be like $100. It's going to be like $100. That's a lot for a corn farm. $100, Tubbo. Okay. All right. Round of applause. I like it. Schlatt. Schlatt, you're in the lead. Are you going to expand that lead? We'll see. 
How much? Look, man, who's who's eating cornflakes and knows the shape of... What fucking state is this? Illinois. Illinois? Illinois? Who knows the shape of that state so well <laughs> where they see a cornflake in a fucking bowl and they're like, wow, this really looks like it. Uh, I think they I fucking like shaped heard, it. <laughs> I feel like I've heard about this auction before, though. So it's probably above 100 bucks, to be honest. I mean, I'll go like 300 300 dollars! That's oh, a lot of flakes. Jack Manifold, what do you think? You see, like everyone, I think, I think you guys might have just done your research. I haven't heard anything about this. I heard about like a Cheeto once, but I oh. never heard anything about cornflake. And right. The thing is, the first state in the U.S. I ever went to was Illinois. Wow, and it's, it's Sorry. boring as shit. There's okay, nothing I like there. Illinois. But Where the hell did you go? Did you go to Danville, just, Illinois, or something? Why, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know where went to I the went. Fucking airport, and then flew to <laughs> Missouri. Missouri. Yeah, and guess what? I got bored. I don't like the state. I don't like its shape. I like nothing about it. Uh, and I don't doesn't think like you either, Jack. Either. Remind <laughs> him who won shit. the war. <laughs> That's right. One and O, oh, baby. Yeah. One and yeah. oh. That's right. What about the War of 18? No, Greetings right. from Chicago. War of 1812 yeah. was it was uh, it's filler in history. You burned down our White House, but you know what we did? We rebuilt it. That's right. We it looks better. better than ever. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's so cool to hear. Yep. Um, you know, I'm I'm probably gonna go for a a lower bet. I'd say maybe I don't know, forty dollars. Forty dollars. You think they're just giving that cornflake away? All right. That's Ted Nivison, it's, it's all on I'm your shoulders. Wrong here. Go ahead, Ted. Go ahead. We need you five seconds. Five. Four. Oh, you're giving me five seconds. Four, I can't talk about three, it. We what even the have a fuck? For it too. Oh my god. Uh, much, fucking. Ted? I don't know. Fifteen dollars. Fifth. Ten dollars. I was gonna do a different one, but you didn't give me a chance. Let me give me tell five you seconds. something, Ted. You got it correct last time, but you failed again. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Schlatt got it correct. Ladies and gentlemen, twenty five. Actual price one thousand three hundred and fifty. That is that's what? ridiculous that it costs that much. Ted, Schlatt is running away with the game. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> Currently, Schlatt is 60 points. Tubbo, zero <laughs> points. The people from England are absolute. The queen is losing her marbles. Saying, man, Whatever she's got you left. Gave the other guys, you gave the you other guys like 15 minutes to talk out their you thoughts. Sell, you selling me the whole fucking landmass of the gave state. Me five shit, seconds. Man. I'm telling I you what, they are not salty at all. I'll tell you what. I tell you what, Margaret Thatcher is rolling over in her tomb. I tell you, isn't she? <laughs> I'm glad. You know what else I'm be. glad? May she, she rot. <laughs> Oh, may she rot. Oh, my. It doesn't wow. even look like that. Oh, my like gosh. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. They've said worse in Parliament. That's haven't true. They? Haven't they? All right. Yeah, did you know one of the MPs is maybe being investigated for watching porn in the House of Commons? Fun UK politics what? fact. Really? That was, that was yesterday. What kind? On ITV. Yeah. Very pog. Margaret Thatcher also what? recommended that one of the Four? worst pedophiles in history become a knight. So, you know... <laughs> No. Shit she them, also huh? did do that. They were like friends. Yeah, the good friends. But she got yeah, she an icon, wasn't she? Round of applause for Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> May she wow. rest in peace. Wow. wow. Um, Judgment on the sound guy. Judgment on the sound guy. All right, here we go. Next item we have is an auction for a chicken nugget that looks like George Washington. No. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my, my Lord. It's it George. Oh my God! It's George Washington. Wow! Oh His teeth never look <laughs> so back good. With a message, it is a, it is a breaded chicken nugget. But it looks exactly George like George Washington. And let me tell you, you'll never figure out where this came from, folks. McDonald's. M McDonald's. And it came from Nebraska. Oh wow! A woman who put a three-year-old chicken nugget. Uh, she is three years old. She put it up. It looks just like new. Uh, up on auction on eBay. <laughs> She was selling the McNugget to help raise money for a youth camp run by her church. Well, the auction was temporarily suspended, but eBay made an exception and reinstated the McNugget. Mm. How much? Dude, what a beautiful story. I know how much it costs. Wow. He's confident. Lock it in. Tubbo, what confident. is it? Lock it in. After the last one, $2,000. $2,000! Give us a sax lick to really lock yeah. it in. Hey, give us a sax lick every time you guess a prize. That's your good luck charm. Oh my charm. god, that's a lot of pressure. Give me a $2,000 sax lick. Hit it! <laughs> what? Come on, you can't cuck us like okay, that. Okay, all right. I was so close. Even more and more. All right, Schlad, what do you think? 
I've never heard of this one. I feel like I know a, a, a bunch of weird auctions for sh things shaped like other things. I've never seen this in my life. Oh. It kind of looks like them. Uh, Ten ring. But I've, again, like, I don't know. This one this one doesn't seem too high budget for me. Maybe 50 bucks. Yep. Yep. It looks like <laughs> trucks. It looks like George oh Washington's embalmed carcass. Yeah, it looks like George low. Washington like mixed with Whistler's mother. <laughs> 50 bucks. All right, Jack Manifold, what do you think? Right. I'm just saying, if I'm eating a pack of chicken nuggets and one of the former U.S. presidents appears in my fucking pack, yeah. I'm going to assume that that's a message from God. Yeah. And someone needs to decipher it. Yeah. I think it's expensive. I think it's more expensive than even Tubbo thinks. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to play it safe. Fucking ass. So I'm going to go for $2,001. Whoa! Oh. What a move. Hey, if you could get a McNugget of any celebrity, which would you get? Fuck. Uh, uh, the queen. The oh. queen. <laughs> Wow! She kind of wow. looks like a McNugget, doesn't she? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> All right. Can't say that about a dead lady. That's fucked up. What? She's not <laughs> dead. She just didn't go to Easter because she's ill and she's resting. Yes, forever. Be She'll be doing a lot of sure. resting soon. Sure, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Austin. Ted, She's going Ted. To All right, Ted. Six more years. Ted, I got you have think. a fantastic, fantastic opportunity to be. You know what? You know what, Will? When after this show's done, I'm going to run for queen. <laughs> I got to I gotta say. I got to say. This is fucked. I think no, that this with monarchy. most likely. That's right. Lock it in, Ted. You got one more second. $1,500. Right. $1,500. $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, added two zeros. Ted, what was your thought process on that real quick? Well, you know, I just love those first two numbers, and but, you know, I have to try to win. Fantastic. That's, well, that's Ted, it. let me tell you something. <laughs> You're not going to win this time. You know who is? Jack Manifold! Oh, my boy! Hey, there we fucking go. That's right. Finally. $2,001, which means... have an original thought. The original... The, the thought... What do you mean I've never had an original thought? Well, Not what, only what, what was that, that feel like to just never have an original thought in your entire life. Just, I want to know. Well, it feels like whoa. he's on the board, Tubbo. Strong That's bowling. what it feels like. Yeah. Feels like points, baby. Tubbo, you gotta, feels like you points. gotta be cautious. I'm not having a good time. We need, we need to go through this round. We got this next round. This next item right here. Here we go. This next auction happened pretty recently. It's the Among Us Nuggets. No. No. Wow. Wow. Uh, oh my fuck. God. Oh my Lord. Oh my God. It looks I like Will with his shirt 10 off. For that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna get. <laughs> I'm sorry, Will. It's all right. I've been feeling <laughs> sus. <laughs> Are they laughing at my joke? That's a mighty suspicious nugget. Wait, what is? Why? I'm fine. I'm all fine. Right. We have, I'm each fine. person's gonna have five seconds to guess this because I'm hearing we are running out of time. Yeah, you've been you've been punishing me up until this point. And tell that to your Ted legal go team. First. Ted, go first. Five Ted. seconds. Here we go. No, let him say what he's thinking. Okay. Uh, Among Us shaped nugget yep. from BTS meal. Got BTS. It's got Among Us. Yep. It's gotta be. Oh man, it's got. I'm. Ah, mm, uh, fuck. Um, let me just say it is. <laughs> I'm honestly just gonna be safe because I know this like these meme things usually go for pretty high. Ten, five seconds. So I might actually be in a safe zone if I just say fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Jack Manifold, what do you think? It's it's fucking BTS related, all right? It's from a BTS meal and it's a meme. Yep, that's right. right. BTS stands will buy anything BTS related. That sold for. Fuck it, ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Have anything to do with BTS? It's from a BTS meal. Yeah, it comes with the BTS sauce, Schlatt. Yes. The 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 special McNugget sauce. You can sauce. eat your little sussy nugget with some BTS sauce. That's right. I, I never want to hear you say that again. Sussy little nugget with some BTS sauce. Yeah, you're a sussy That's little nugget, aren't you? I've got some Try. special <laughs> sauce for you, Schlatt. <laughs> And it's not from McDonald's. Lock in the per You are so bad at innuendos. Oh. I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> yeah, he knows. Oh, <laughs> whose is this? Whose guess is it's this? It's from my Who's business. Guessing? I I know. Shot lock in the price. Lock it. Ten thousand one. Wow. Ten thousand and one. Ten thousand and one. Tubbo, you have zero points. 
So I'm gonna say fifteen. I want you to say your price and then lock uh, it in with a little sack. You fucking you fucking bitch! Don't say that. <laughs> say fifteen. I was, I was cool. I did, listen, I didn't do this to you. Did I, did I do this to you? <laughs> Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever in the history of Name Your Price, Tebo has gotten 20 points! I'm a boy! No way! You little I'm twerp! Actually! Hit a fucking oh sack slick God. for that, Tebo! Actual selling price, 99997 dollars Oh my, oh my God! God. Tebo, do us a favor and play us into the commercial break yeah, right now. Hit it. Hit it, Tebo. Hit it. Hit, it. hit, it. Oh hit it. Right now. Come on, Tebo. We'll be right back. Keep it going. We're, we're trying to transition. Keep it going, Tebo. I'll be right back with Name wow. Your Price. <laughs> Welcome back to Name Your Price, everybody. Oh, yes. Real quick, can I get a tight shot on number 13, please? There's somebody in the audience, and his name is Atlanta. And he's asking, would you snack on your own wiener if you could and will? I tell you, yes, I would. Yes! Yes, I would, Atlanta. Give it up for him. Classic. All right. Now, folks, Tubbo, put your goddamn phone away. Do I have to come take it from you? OK. What, sorry? No, it's all Hello? right. Round of applause. Oh, hi. Round of applause. Minx just handed me a lovely card. Now, we all watch television, don't we? Yeah. All of us watch television. Isn't that right, chat, right? We all watch TV, right? It's not just a dying piece of media. I haven't turned my TV on in months. Is this a show on TV? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Round of applause. Let me tell you, our next game is called... Thank you, Jack. As Seen on TV. Hey! Hey. You've all seen these things on television. Well, let me tell you something. On Name Your Prize, we've dug up some of the strangest ones, items from As Seen on TV that we could find. The closest to the correct price will win. You guessed it, 20 points. Let's bring out that first item that we saw it on TV. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the first item here. Tevo, I know you're going to get it. It is the... Oh! God damn it! Slow that fucking cart down. It's the Whisper 2000. It's the Whisper 2000. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That's right, telling dirty little secrets with the Whisper Does 2000. Does it have the price on the box written there? Well, it has the original price. What? Oh, oh, is it the price now? No, that's the oh. number. It's the Whisper 2000. It's the Whisper 2000, and it even comes with noise-canceling headphones. Isn't that? Look at that. Oh. No, Austin, those... Those are the headphones that you use to... What the fuck does this thing do, though? Like, you well, have to tell me what it... You, you use listen to things 2000. far away. So, hold on. So, let's... Oh, it works. Oh, yeah. Hold on. So, we're going to turn it on. Oh. Oh, did you hear that? Ear-piercing scream. Okay, so we're going to... Okay. Oh, okay, stop. Oh. oh, yeah. It's okay. whispering already. All right, so... <laughs> so... <laughs> <yeah>. This is <laughs> also known as the creep device... Austin is having a lot of trouble, trouble with a bread tie right okay, now. Okay, so, Minx, I want you to whisper something from across the room. Fuck you, cunt! Oh my god, it works so well! <laughs> it's like she's in... Wow. It's like she's right there. Give it to us one more time. Fuck you, cunt! Okay, great, wow! Round of applause! <laughs> Strong words. Wow, oh, it's perfect! In the studio, I'm mic'd up. Wow, Crazy. it's beautiful. Such good quality. Yeah, it's great quality. It works perfectly. Oh, yeah. For the folks at home, you can hear. Listen. Stop. Stop. Stop, man. I'm not wearing headphones. It works perfectly, cool. just like new. The Whisper 2000 is used to help folks hear better. It comes from the year 1989, and it can be used while watching television, listening to nature, or even in everyday life. So it's a glorified hearing aid. Yes. Well, no, it just kind of breaks your ears, if you noticed. Oh, I see. It's a glorified hearing aid if you wanted to damage your hearing further. All right. Tebo, what do you think? Well, actually, we'll go to you last, since you haven't gotten any points. Let's go with Jack Manifold, who got it correct last time. That's a lie, but I'm going to... We're going to continue on anyway. Uh, I 
think that is a piece of shit product. It made a horrible noise, and I don't think it works at all. I think most people who have purchased this at this point, you've not actually purchased this from the television, have you? You've bought this after the fact that it was, well, you know. It's kind right? of funny because I, I've deciphered their advertising. This gentleman is pretending that he's using a radio so he can hear a movie, as you can see he's eating popcorn, but it's crazier that he would be listening to a radio in a movie theater than just wearing a fucking hearing aid in the first place. Yes. So it's, it's a, it appeals to old people's vanity, I guess. I don't know. It, yeah, I, I feel like it's a weird nothing product that no one needs, uh, apart from creeps who want to listen to conversations. But, but how much like is it? There's better ways of doing that. Five seconds. So it's like what? I don't know, like nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. All right. If only it was shaped like an Among Us character. Right. Or BTS had their name on it. That's right. <laughs> Jay Schlatt, what do you think? Sixteen bucks. Sixteen dollars. Sixteen bucks. Ted Nivison, what do you think? I can't believe you just did that to me. I can't believe you just fucking did that to me, you piece of shit. Look what? at your shit-eating grin. What? What do you think I'm gonna say? What the $15. fuck do you think I'm gonna say? He took, no. Ted, Ted, do you need some literature? Man, do you need some literature? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars! Wow. Man of principle. He's sticking with it. All right. I have a lot of respect for that, Ted. Like, a lot. Tubbo, what do you think? Sixteen dollars and one cent. Whoa! Get this Whoa. fucking twerp off the show! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. A bold move, uh, and it paid off. It for did, Tubbo. Twenty points. Thank you. This new Thank strategy you. is working Thank for you, Tubbo. Really Tubbo, let me show. tell you something. You are you are now in second place, in second Thank place you, behind man. Jay Schlatt by only a mere twenty points. Who is trailed? You are trailed by I Jack Manifold. Who is trailed? Is trailing everybody, Mr. Ted Nivison. Mm. How's that $15 strategy working out, Ted? Maybe you can guess the you price know. of this item right here. This is, is called the Miracle Broom, and it's never been opened before. We are mm. going to open it up right now. The item combines the electric powers of a vacuum <laughs> with the convenience of a broom. Oh, this is another bad. Ronco item from 1973. As you can tell here, it's cleaning up cigarettes. Look at that. In grass, for some reason. That's a shag rug, Austin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. The 70s, man. Sorry. All right. How the hell? So we're trying to, we're going to put batteries in this thing, and we're going to use it for, hell? for the first time ever in the history of... This thing existing. Oh, fuck. We're gonna see if it turns on. I d Austin, I wouldn't hold your breath. All right. Let's see here. How much do you think this thing's gonna cost? Tebo, you've been on, on your game, so I'm gonna let you go last this time. What? Schlatt, why don't you go first? Thanks, man. Why does he get to go last? He's, he's going to do the same shit, Austin. He's going to do the same exact shit. He's a man of integrity. He would never do that. Schlatt, why don't you give us the first guess? Isn't that right, And I saved him. I Remember the, when there was that choice, Tubbo, between you and Manifold to fuck over, and I fucked Jack over in one? I mean, hey, man. Schlatt. Hey. Let's hey. hear it, Schlatt. Hey, hey what's up, bro? I have so what's much respect for you. I have so much respect for you. Just don't say $15, and I won't, yeah, I won't get mad at you. Schlatt, how much is it? $27. $27. Unbelievable guess. Round of applause. All right, Jack Manifold, what do you think? Mm. Smile in the chat. $27.50. You fucking, I can't, I, wow. Wow. I mean that. I just mean that, Schleiz. Yeah, no, you were, you were going to say that. You were going to say that one. Ted Nivison, how much do you think this is worth? Does anybody know how to do this? We don't know. We don't know. We weren't sure if it was going to work or not. I'm going to say $21.50. Oh. $21.50. Ted Nivison. It still All sticks right. to my ideals. 
Tubbo, ah. you're the last. What okay. do you think? I have a question before the end. You sure. never said how much the price of the last item was. I was curious. The last price, the, the item of the last price was $19.99. It was $19.99. Mm -hmm. How much do you think this is, Tubbo? What do you think? What are you going to do, Tubbo? I don't know, man. I'm going to go... I'm going to go $20. $20. Tubbo, it's bold. It's fantastic, ah, but it's incorrect. Jack Manifold, you got it correct. Nice job. Uh, yeah. How much was it, Austin? <laughs> it was $29.99, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Schle I tried, man. I thought it was I gave you a And it doesn't bet. work. For a week and a half, you stayed in my house for free, for fucking free. And this is how you repay me. I thought 50 it was cents over my guess. 50 cents over my guess. I thought that's how much it cost. Thought that's how much it cost. This is the stamp tax all over again. Well, let me tell you, you something, folks. This? You know what didn't cost? Staying in your bed. Let me, let me tell you I something. I mean, the bed in your house. Sorry, my bad. Let me tell you <laughs> something, <Jeez>. folks. <laughs> let me tell you something. We are not going to allow you to undercut each other's prices. That is banned now, officially. You need to come up with a unique guess independently before we ask it. You must come up with it uniquely in your head or we will take away your points. Isn't that right, Will? We've done it before. We'll do it again. And we'll do it again. Wheeling out the next item, here we go. This is, oh, look at this. Schlatt, I know. Like write it? I want more screen time! Oh, my God. What the oh fuck my. are you doing? Oh, I God. want oh more screen God. time! Give her the mic! Give her the mic! Um, so the next thing we have, the next time we have is um, Miracle Thor. Why would you I drop it? Pick it up! Pick it up! What word did she just say? Miracle what? Defrosting tray that thaws food in minutes. What? what no it electricity and no chemicals. What does it no what, what does it do to food? And also no microwave. Oh, it's like the main group. Buy Telly brands. Thank you, Max. You were so good. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. What does it do? What does it do to food? I can't understand. Basically, you put food, you put your meat on the platter, like like so. Well, put it out. Put take it out. And then if it's frozen, it unthaws. Oh! Thaws, right. Right. Or Look at that. See? Plate. See? Just take a look, right? So what you do is you put your meat on the platter and then you unthaw it. <laughs> Why are you guys focusing down here? I'm just showing the goddamn. I had a cramp in my leg. <laughs> put your meat on the platter and then you thaw it out, right? It's it's very sturdy, isn't it? Ow, oh, fuck. It's, so it's made of metal, metal too. It's a metal grate. Oh shit. All right. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty solid. Oh. God. So you just take frozen meat and put it on this plate, and that's and then it thaws. It uses the miracle of heat or something. Yeah, the, the miracle of heat. What does that fucking mean, Austin? It's just like a heat's a miracle. <laughs> you, uh, uh, <laughs> you basically heat up the fucking metal pad, and it unthaws your meat because that's what happens. But when how do you, you heat it up? It said no electricity, no chemicals. How the fuck does it get warm? You put it in the sun. Rim God damn it! Shut up, Jack. <laughs> I actually have no idea. This is it. Friction. You, you gotta trust it. <laughs> it's the whole, it's the whole product. You just put it on this <laughs> thing and it unthaws magically. I mean, hey. He knows what I'm talking towel. about. He had one, right? All right. How much do you think it costs, Tabo? What do you think? Okay, am I going first? Yes, you are. Okay. Independent thoughts. Do I have a timer or can I talk it through a little you bit? You can talk it through a little bit. Okay, so my, oh, just my kidding, you have a timer. Is, it's made of metal. It's wait, I've got a timer. timer. So it looks like I've got a timer. Okay, nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars. All right, Schlatt, what do you think? Thirty. Thirty dollars. Nice. Jack Manifold, what do you think? Jack, what do you think? Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. It's on this. It's. It, can you not read this? It says fourteen ninety nine. $14.99. Did you rip the chair? <laughs> I had... I had guessed $19.99. $19.99! Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in the history of Name Your Price, Jack got it absolutely correct! It is $14.99! Oh, shit! 20 points, which means Jack 
has him. tied Baby. the leader, ladies and gentlemen, with 60 points. Minx, uh, yes. what has happened, Minx? Look, stand up. Stand up. Minx, stand up out of the fucking chair. Minx, stand up out of the chair. <laughs> Roll out of the chair, Minx. All right. She just got her chair today. <laughs> and now it's I can't dead. believe that I got betrayed. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> this is... My, did it tear? Here, here take a look here. It tear. Oh, the fabric mean? tear? It tore clean. I've from... lost a lot of weight recently. Stop looking at my chair. All right, round of applause. When we come back... Oh. oh. <laughs> when we come back, there's more Name Your Prize and more guessing of Ida Minx. Don't cry for... Please don't cry. Oh, my God. She's crying. Oh, shit. We'll be right back with more Name Your Prize. Oh, no. Oh, God. Name Your Prize. We'll be right back. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Name Your Prize. Now, I am contractually obligated to shout out the fact that I have a new Clips channel on YouTube. And let me tell you Whoa. something, it is taking off. We have a video with two million views Whoa. and it features Jay Schlatt. He doesn't even know it. That's right, two million does. views. That's right, I, thanks Schlatt. I'm everyone's, I'm everyone's top video. That's right, that's right. Two. two million, well actually- I'm Ludwig's, top, I'm Ludwig's top clip on his YouTube channel. Yep. And I'm Ludwig's top video on his uh, on his main channel. That's too. right. Or you guys should go show. subscribe to it right now. Let me tell you, if you don't, uh, uh, you just it would be terrible. And just support me. If you don't, you're homophobic. How about that? I believe it. Right? I believe I'm it. also Amen. I'm also Minx's top thirty videos. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause. All right. I'm kidding. You're not homophobic. All right. The next game we got. Look, we have discovered that Minx doesn't have enough screen time, folks. That's right. And we wanted to build an entire section right around her. Isn't that right? Oh, wait, she's on camera right now, below you. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Look, Schlatt, that wasn't don't, very nice. Don't let him talk to me like that. <laughs> I won't. Schlatt, don't do that again. Okay, All right? leaving then. All right, the next game is called Minx Hijinks. We're going to have Minx do some tasks. Schlatt, where did you go? Oh, Schlatt, come back, please. Please, we need the views. Schlatt, we need the views. Desperately. Oh, Tebo, there we go. Schlatt, Schlatt. Okay, that's not working, Minx. Minx, step off camera for just a minute. Just one minute, we just need a minute. Okay, thank you. All right. Hey, everybody. Minx is gonna do some tasks, and you'll need to guess how well she is go- Oh, oh my God. How well she's going to perform. Whoever guesses the closest time will win themselves 20 points, all right. Yes. Minx, I got a question for you. Yes. Do you have a retainer? What? Well, you do now. What does that mean? Too bad it fell into this school trash can. Ooh. Ooh, look at this, take a look. Take a look here, folks. We found this at the local Los Angeles <laughs> school district. Take a look right here. Oh, that's right, Minx, you didn't know you didn't know you had a retainer. We want to get you involved in the show. So I've got a question. <laughs> I've got a question this is for you, a great folks. Segment. I got a <laughs> I got a question for you folks here. How long will it take Minx to find her retainer in the trash can? And factor in, Minx has no idea what a retainer is, apparently. <laughs> so this this section of the game show is you just making Minx <laughs> dig through a trash, trash. can. That's but correct. I'm just, no, I'm just trying to make sure I get this clear and that every, you know, that I understand the game. What is our role in <laughs> No, hold on. No, hold on, Ted, you got it twisted. Minx lost her retainer. It's very expensive, right? Yes. It's extremely well, expensive. Know what a retainer and was, she's in the U.S. So. She's from Ireland. She doesn't have health care. She has no dental care here. She has to find a retainer. You know how expensive that was. Minx, come back. Come back, Minx. Okay, here's the Minx. I'll give her a minute 45. All right, a minute 45 from Schlatt. Whoops. Minute 45 from Schlatt. Okay, we'll get our next guest. Sure, oh, yeah. They're trying to figure out what a retainer is, by the way. They're following that yes. with the camera, so it's not secretive yes. at all. <laughs> wow, we really blew that one, didn't we? Yep, yep, we did. All right. Chabo, how long are you? Why did you guys call off my earpiece? I can't hear anyone. I'm trying to say no, thank you. I don't want to do this. That's right, she's very excited. That's right, round of applause. All right, Tabo, what do you think? How long will it take? Uh, 
One minute, Anymore. 15 seconds. One minute and 15 seconds. You want to do it, right? Jack, how long Come do you on, think it'll you take for her to find that retainer? Hey, well, you know what? Enthusiasm like that, 45 seconds. 45 wow, seconds. 45 seconds. All right, Ted. I'll give her a minute. A minute? A minute. Wow. Minx. 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 Remember, this is your moment. Yep. I know. Minx. When I say go, you're gonna dig through that trash can and find your retainer. And I can use hands too, not just mouth. You can do what, no. Oh, God. But that wasn't- You're me. supposed to use your hands, <laughs> yes. what? You know what, actually, guys, can we change the rules? She's came up with a great suggestion. No! no! <laughs> okay, we are going to clear out every human being in this studio and then we're gonna start the timer. Ready, set. Go! There she goes. Oh, there she goes. Oh. Ow! Oh my God! Oh, Minks! Oh, no! Ah. What the oh, fuck? My. Oh my God! Minks! Oh. 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 oh, Jesus Christ! I should have put in a lower time. Oh. <laughs> Where is it, Minks? Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> She's a thrasher! <laughs> She was inside for a second there. Did you see her get inside? Oh my God. Embarrassing. How much do you think? How much time we go and she's ravishing through the trash? Wouldn't it be embarrassing if we didn't put a retainer in there? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, ah! oh my God, she's terrifying. Oh, we have pizza Fuck. all over the, oh God. Come on, Minx, come oh. on. Minx, you should find it in the next few oh seconds. Oh my God, like look, that's Will's lunch. Come on, Minx. Oh my Come god! On. <laughs> Come on! Minx, I'm gonna Find give you it. I'm gonna give you a hint, Minx. It's got your name on it. It's a little baggy. Why uh, is she growling? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I saw a message There's in no chat more trash says, in the I can, I Will. I, what is she doing? I just wanted to yeah, acknowledge. She got it! Oh, oh stop the timer! Oh my Oh my god. A creatura. Oh it my god. Smells like pizza. Ladies and gentlemen. One minute and 13 seconds on the clock, which means we are giving points to the saxophonist, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tubbo! Come back. I have never been more pleased to watch someone rifle for trash. One minute and 15 seconds, Tubbo, which we stopped the timer. That was how long it took. And you guess 113, actually, vice versa. You guess 115, 113, 20 points for Tubbo, tying the leader. Oh my God. Yeah. What a comeback. After Schlatt took a huge lead, he's actually blown it. Oh my God. I've been, no, no, I've just been, they've been BMing the whole game. I just don't know what to uh, say. I have a lot wow. more points. I'm good, I'm good, thank you, Minx. I'm very good, thank you. We appreciate it, Minx, could you get that out? That okay. is actually a vile, no, I'm a good. disgusting person okay. up on the stage right now. Minx, there. could you please put the, can we get this trash out of here, please? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Why is this the first thing we did? I don't know why. That's okay. All right, Minx, I got a question for you. Come back. Yeah. Come back with all this trash. Wait, you want some? No, I'm good. Please throw oh. it away. Throw it in the trash. Oh, no! Oh, my. They got Hershey's oh, wrapper on here! Oh, <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay, Minx, throw the pizza away, seriously. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Minx. Where did Ted go? I think you my camera did. turned right. off and it's on Minx. for too long. Have you ever had a dream where your teeth fall out? <laughs> well, that's a nightmare has come true and all your teeth fell into this purse that we have wheeled in right here. Oh, here it comes. Oh my God, there it is. That purse right there. Your teeth are in the bag, and let me tell you, there's 60. I thought it was wrong, I, I, I've had enough cameras. There's a total 60 teeth no, in this bag. No, I don't bag. Have to do that. You need, to, you need to determine. Oh wait, I'm sorry. There's 28 teeth. No, I actually teeth. wouldn't believe. No, I believe that Minx had 60 teeth to no. begin with. No, that's a completely wait, I don't know. believable figure. <laughs> 28 teeth, I'm sorry. Just like a shark, she's got two sets. <laughs> I, I would believe that, Ted, completely. Europeans come with extra teeth because half of them fall out anyway, right? Isn't that right, Europe? Round of applause, come on. They're white. Half of like, everyone's lost right. time. Half teeth. of everyone's All right. what happens to baby sets. teeth. All right, contestants, I want to ask you, how many teeth can Minx recover in 60 seconds? Tabo, you go first. Are the things so in the bag or is it like just like teeth? They're in, in there, 60 you'll, seconds, you'll see. Uh, I'm gonna say 15. 15, 15 teeth. all right. 15 teeth. 15 teeth. Wait, Austin, I need more, I need more parameters. Is, is there other things in the bag? Um, yes. 
Okay, and what does it? What counts as recovered? Just retrieved from the bag? Yes, put and put on the table. Yes. yes. Could she not just pour everything onto the table? I guess so. I guess she could. All right, then fuck. I mean, I'm gonna take my guess now. Then I'm gonna say 36 teeth. No, no Jack. 36 teeth. I'm no, taking my guess. No, there's only 28 in the bag, Jack. No, 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 that's, that's his guess. guess. That's his guess. guess. No, no, please. That's his Cut guess. That. 36 teeth. Cut the camera. Teeth. What are you no, doing? No, 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 no stop it. No, we, we can't. We don't have a shot where she's not twerking. Okay. All right. He did say 36 teeth. I say you lock that in. 36. Lock fuck it in. Jack, that's not possible. We, we only have 28 in, in the bag. I like his confidence, Austin. <laughs> all right, fine. J Jack, you really, you really, all right, fuck it. Ted, how many teeth? I think she's going to get 23 teeth. 23 right. teeth. <laughs> fuck you, Ted. Fuck you. All right. All right. Ruin my fucking game plan. Schlatt, what do you think? How many teeth? I think she's going to get 28, all of them. She's going to get all the teeth. Hey, yep. 28, ladies Eight. and gentlemen. All right, put the timer on the board. We're going to get started. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, Teeth. go! Teeth. Here we go, Mink. She's taking her sweet time because she hates Jay Schlatt. Can I take shit out of the bag? What? Can I take it? Oh. You can do whatever you want, Minx. Find the fucking teeth. Find those teeth. Find the teeth, Minx. She's going Minx through. Just pour it upside down. It literally, the, the game's terribly designed. Don't tell her how to do the game. She hates that, This Jack. game mode makes no sense, Jack. It's such a backseat driver, Jack. Jack. There's no oh, teeth oh, in here! Oh, Minx, you have to look. I've given her the optimal strategy. Oh, no. Still guys, I think, we, I think we vastly overestimated no. how many teeth that she could Tabo's get Tabo's very here. excited. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the teeth? And once again, the 15 number is going to win this. I don't know. Perhaps. Who knows? We'll see. We'll have to see. Tubbo, I should have this never would be a miraculous comeback. The I mean, number I know he's about love. to scare. She's actually... Oh, Minx, you have to find some teeth, Minx. The oh, time is... Okay. Minx, the time is ticking. You only... Yeah. How, how... 10 teeth. Oh. Oh. Up. Oh. oh. And time. No teeth were found. Absolutely no teeth were found. Uh, there were teeth in there, right? She found teeth, and let me see. We did have teeth in there. They were... <laughs> Where the fuck did you guys... <laughs> Top of 20 30. points, round of applause. <laughs> yeah! Thank you, Thank Thank you. Thank you. Give him a ding. Give him a ding. Thank you. Were there teeth in there? I no. didn't see a single. Uh, they see, they see claimed there were teeth too. in them, and we, none of us could find them. Who's they? Who's Ta they? Who filled the bag? Ladies and gentlemen, he has an incredible comeback. It is Tubbo who has taken the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. Tubbo. There were teeth in there. Confirmed teeth. We found one tooth. Show it, Will. <laughs> I feel like That's Will true. just went backstage and punched the fuck out of a producer for uh, not There's no way that, that happened. <laughs> and this is how that Whatever was, you, you know, do, I, don't I, show the producer that's bent over right in that corner over there after Will had hit him. Please don't pan the camera that direction in the control room. Oh, they're, they're right there. He doesn't oh, want to be on camera. Oh, producer in there, right. punched over as if he'd been punched. Oh, oh, please. oh, oh, wait, this oh, there's a, oh, oh my God. God. Oh, Don't my God. Him. All right. Oh, I think he's drunk at work. You should fire okay. him. All right. All right. That's okay. Yeah, definitely fire that guy. All right. Drunk at work. Sorry. Now, Minx, I've got another question for you. Wait, can the camera zoom in? I need to see if my... <laughs> no. Now, Minx. Austin, I have a question. What? Combs have teeth. Oh. Pleasant. What teeth? <laughs> oh, God! What oh, is God! What teeth? Oh, oh God! <laughs> like a feral animal. Oh, my elbow! Get me out of here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Jesus. <laughs> All right, we're good. and we're back. Did you miss us? We're back on Name Your Prize. Here we are. Yep, yep. Give it up for Tubbo, Schlatt, Jack Manifold, and Ted Nivison. Yes. Let's let's show their scores, ladies and gentlemen. Ted rocking it in last place. Hasn't gotten a correct answer since round number one. That's right. What can I say? 
I you suck, hate Ted. Boo! Give it up for Ted. All right. Tied for second place are Jack Manifold and Jay Schlatt. Mm-hmm. Remember, everybody, Jay Schlatt came out to a very quick 50-point lead, only to be steamrolled by Tubbo. Hunt. Tubbo, who's in the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I will so say, happy. at least I stuck to my ideals. Yes, All right. Yes. Yeah. Austin, there's yeah. one thing that's keeping me going. Even though the times have gotten tough, the running's gotten rough, I'm down 20 points now from a from a fantastic beginning. There's one thing that's keeping me going right now, and What's it's that? this beautiful drawing that a fan gave me earlier today. Oh, wow. Let's see it. Oh, my. Wow. It took them five months to make this, they said. You look perfect tonight. Wow, Ted Sheeran. Is that Connery? Is that me? Ted Schlieren. Wow, that looks beautiful. Yeah. It's I love Ted Sheeran. Because I drew this just in the, in the, in the break. Oh, you, wow. I thought I drew that. Ted, you drew that. I drew that in there. the break, too. What's that logo? They wouldn't let me wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what logo uh, didn't they let you wear? They'll get involved. All right, this next game is called The Count. I'm going to show you the quantity of an item, and you're going to guess how many of it there are. Mm. Here we go. Don't show it. Whoever's slide. closest to the actual number careful. gets 30 points. Real quickly here, folks. You you be careful. Hey. Tabo, I want to ask you, how many? We've got all these toothbrushes in these buckets right here. You've never seen one oh of these before, God. Tabo and Jack Manifold, have you? They don't use these I in the UK. I told you I had. Why not? Like Why are they lubed up? Amazing teeth. Oh, they're, they're pre, they're lubed up toothbrushes. All right. So how many are in this box? These boxes collectively. Oh. Uh, how many? Let's take a look at both. Go boxes. on. Let's go 90, 93. No. 93. You think there's 93 in there? You think there's 93 toothbrushes in there, Tubbo? I gotta aim high. I gotta aim high. Aim high. I know. He gave us the number in pounds. He's, he's, he's aiming high. <laughs> aim high? He gave us the number in pounds. It's okay. It happens. Or in stone. That's all right. Schlatt, what do you think? 300. 300. 300 toothbrushes. Manifold, what do you think? 263. 263. Two Very obscure. 63. Ted Nivison, are you going to guess a little bit more than 15 this time? Yes, I will. Uh, 275. 275. Ooh, 75. Now, let me tell you something, Schlatt. If you get this correct, if you get uh. this correct. Hey, prompter, put your fucking foot on the pedal, goddammit. <laughs> How many do we have in there? Thank you. There's a card right here. Oh, too. <laughs> sorry. Excuse me. All right. Sorry, prompter. You're doing a great job. Yep. And they're union, so we're going to lose our production. <laughs> All right, okay. The count. Ladies and gentlemen, there were 864 toothbrushes in these two oh! bins, which means, oh Jay Schlatt, you got it correct. 20 That's points, right, 30 baby. points. That's Wait, right. 30 points. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. 30 points, which means that Schlatt has taken the lead at 90 points. Yes. Hey, you know, it's just so easy. It's so easy, this game. Let me tell I you love something. this game. Let me tell you something. Ted, you are close. fucked unless you get this next one correct. Yeah? Oh, yeah. We've got a box and plate and tray, uh, tray and tubes. Tubes of, of frozen pizza rolls. So Tino's Pizza, I mean, yeah. not a brand, but. Pizza, pizza rolls <laughs> that aren't there. <laughs> Non-specific right. brand. That's right. Non-specific brand pizza rolls. Non-specific brand pizza rolls that are actually, they're actually, Minx, how does it taste? Are they pretty good? Oh, yeah, that's going to drive the ratings right into the ground. Nothing like moaning with pizza rolls. I'd rather listen to the fucking whisper device squeak in my ear and completely burst both of my eardrums. All right. I'd rather listen to that. How many pizza rolls do we have here? Tubbo, you came up with a guess of 97. You were about 750 off last time. Yep. Oh, God. Jack Manifold, how I, many? What do you think? Let's start with you. How many pizza rolls in there? Yeah, how many pizza rolls? Uh, how many pizza rolls? I mean, I, I vastly underestimated last time as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to say there's like roughly like 
a thousand pizza rolls in there. Roughly a, a thousand, thousand pizza rolls. A thousand pizza rolls, Jack Manifold. Wait, wait, were you counting the plate as well? Just on yes, the table? Yes, yep, right? yep, yep. Yeah, then yeah, a thousand. Okay. Ted Nivison, you really need this. I'm gonna let no, you go last. No, make me go last then if I really need this. You will know, right. I have no idea of suspense. Last. All right, Schlatt, go ahead. 500. 500. 500. Out of a blast. 500 pizza rolls. Tabo? 500. 500? What? Tabo? What the fuck is wrong with 500. that? 500. No, Tabo, you, you can't, can't do guess that. that. You can't guess that. Tabo, you cannot do that. I thought, I thought we had to decide our guess before we everyone else said theirs. Well, that's a good point. You didn't guess that. You didn't guess that. I genuinely, I you kid didn't you guess not, that. I guessed no. 500. Okay. You know what? No. We'll no. let it slide this time. We'll let it slide. What does Thank that mean, you. we'll let it Thank slide? You. What does that mean, we'll let it slide? <laughs> if you guys both get it correct, I'm hearing we will split the points. But that's we got to hear we got to hear Ted's yeah, guess. Yeah, we will. Uh, I don't know. Fucking 560? <laughs> Let me tell you what, Ted. You needed this really badly, and you didn't get it. Ted, Fuck. you got it wrong, but Jack Manifold got it correct. Oh, oh, shit. Wow. 1, 1,120, Jack. Ow. Wow. Jeez. Jack. All right. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. It is time for something you have all been waiting for. Ooh. Oh, yes. A call back from the beginning of the episode. He's if finally you, stepping up behind the desk. I terrible at guessing, if, huh? If you could remember, <laughs> if you could remember, at the beginning of the episode, I said that there was gonna be a, a moment. Back. Yep. Did you hear that sound, Will? Wow, wow. <laughs> I did now. That means it's time to reveal that mystery moment. Minx, bring out the envelope. Oh, she already did. <laughs> Inside this envelope that I have right here is a moment that took place here on set. And I want to know how many times you think it happened. Closest gets 25 points. Let me guess, it's a round of applause. <laughs> no. How many times did Austin call for sound effects? Oh. Hmm. How many times did I call for sound effects during the course of this show? Ted? It was round of applause? Eight times. Yep, yeah, that counts it was, too. It was asking for, okay. Yep. Eight times, Tubbo go, went first. Eight times. Eight. Eight times. Okay. Tubbo uh, goes four. to eight. Four says four Ted. Ted says four. All right. You just laughed at me because I got it dead wrong, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, you You just did. laughed at me because I just got it yeah, fucking yeah, dead. Yeah, Ted got it wrong. X, give him the X out. Dead in the like, ground wrong. Ted Here got with it my wrong. stupid 10 points. Ted, you're wait, a dead man oh, walking. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Ted, he just asked for another sound effect. We're the first. Um, you just asked for another sound effect, buddy. Wait, did you just asked for another sound effect? I did, I did. Dude, up mine wait, to so nine. Not, now bump, we gotta scrap the, bump, what's going on here? Up, up me to nine. Tabo, you just did another one. Tabo, you can change your guess to nine, round of applause. Thank you. D ten. Five. Ten. No, okay. ten. Let me clarify. Ten. Let me clarify. We, oh, but when the moment I asked for the sound effect is when we we're gonna get it. Okay, that's that's right. So go back to your original guesses. The moment that we asked for it, we capped it. All right. So eight for Tubbo, four for Ted, Jack Manifold. How many? I'm gonna go for a uh, six. Six. Okay. Six. All right, Schlatt, he laughed at my answer, Jack, and you think that that was close? What he the fuck are you guys laughed. talking about? He laughed Have you at been me. paying attention? I know Tubbo's been getting up. No. Go, going to the bathroom every every other second. The producer's it's, going it's rogue, and they just that. keep throwing it's, the fucking it's time like, It's like 20. I don't, I don't fucking know. Like 20, I, lock it in. I don't want to guess. I don't want to guess. Guess it, Schlatt, uh, goddammit. Nine and have it be the easy option. Schlatt, but, I mean, guess I it. Guess we need it five seconds. Well, I'll guess up. nine. I'll guess nine. I'll guess nine. 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 It's locked in. And you got it correct, Schlatt. Nice shot. 25 points. What was the answer? Was correct like, answer was, like was 19. Something. Correct yeah. answer, 19. When we come back, we are going to play the final round of the show. That's it's right. It's still anybody's game except Ted's. We'll be right back. <laughs> wow. Folks, we're back with Name Your Prize. And let me tell you something. This is the final round, and it's anybody's game except Ooh, Ted. Ooh, yes, and it's gonna be fast, because we're over time. That's right. Can we move this table out of here, Will? Sure. Can we hey. just make it like, can we uh, just make it like a lot of points, like something that like maybe- Well, you're gonna later. see, Ted, because 
This board behind me. Option number five. This board behind me is haunted. Well, uh, well, let pick it. No, no, wait, stop. Behind each one of these numbers are points that you can win or lose. All you have to do is tell me whether each item I'm going to show you costs more or less than this $10 acne patch, right? If you guess it right, you will win the points behind the number. If you're wrong, you'll lose that many points. Does that make sense? So, example, Mighty Patch comes out, other item. You have to tell me, is that other item worth more or less than the Mighty Patch? Whatever random amount of points right here, you could either win those points or you could lose them. Let's show the points on the board right now. Currently, Tubbo is in second place with 80 points. Schlatt leading with 115. Jack Manifold with 90. And <laughs> Ted with 10. Hell yeah, baby. Now so it is Ted, still anybody's this, game. This, this game mode lost me the game last time. All right, 15, that's right. 15 now, game. now, Schlatt, last time it was completely random. This time it actually has a little bit of creativity to it. All right, so Ooh. Tubbo. Pick a number on the board. Which number do you want? Five. He's, He's five picking five. Five. All right, Tubbo, 40 points! Now, that could be terrifying or amazing. That's huge. Now, Tubbo, That's I want huge, you to man. tell me, is this acne patch, or excuse me, is this box of Crayola washable sidewalk chalk worth more or less than this mighty patch? Acne and you said patch. the mighty patch was worth $10? Yes. Is it worth more? I'm gonna say more. You think that the Crayola is worth more than the Mighty Patch? Well, it says there's 64 different colors in there, man. Okay, lock it in, Tubbo. Yes or no? Yeah, lock, lock me in, Locking dude. it in, Tubbo, you just gained yourself 40 points! I believe yes! And you've taken the lead! Yes! Manx, you're supposed to maintain your bias, thank you. Thank you. All right, Schlatt. All right, Schlatt, what number do you want to choose? One. Number one! Five! Oh, Just boy. what you needed, Schlatt. Whoa. Just what you needed. Now, Schlatt, tell me this right now. This is a sa a Saud pan? What the hell does that mean? Jesus Re Christ. <laughs> that one's harder, Schlatt. This is tough, because <laughs> it could either be a really good pan or a really this bad one. This is a Saud pan. Is this worth more or less than these $10 acne patches? A, a Saud pan? Yes. A saute? A saute, excuse me. Saute pan? Austin, are you crazy? You said saoud when, said, said, when it said saute? Everything came from the same store. What is a musa? A saute pan, excuse me. Hold on. Will, Will, rotate it around. Show me how thick it is. Oh, very thin. Very thin. Oh. oh Slat, more or less. I need an answer. <laughs> he just bent it. He just bent it. More or less. Oh, oh this is God. this is probably like this is probably like nine ninety nine. I it. Oh fuck. Schlatt. Do it. Fuck. Yes, man. Man. Do it, Schlatt. More. I've got nothing. I've got nothing to lose, Schlatt. You, you got five seconds, Schlatt. Higher, higher. You think it's worth more? I think it's like I think it's like twelve bucks. You think it's worth more well, than Schlatt, that? You just lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. You are down to 70 points. Now, he hasn't lost yet because that everybody- That was a cheap soot pan, everybody, I tell you what. Everybody gets, everybody gets two guesses. That pan was 6.99. Now we've had two of the biggest numbers on the board. Jack Manifold, how many points? How many, what number would you like to choose? Oh, uh, nine, please. I'd like to have Number it. nine. Oh, oh, oh pff, 10 points. <laughs> All right, let's just blow through this. You think this lip gloss is worth more or less than this? Oh, less. Oh, you got it. Ten points. Sir. Correct. I got it on ten points. Enjoy, well, you. Hey, Jack. Ten points. Jack. On the bright side, you have more points than Jay Schlatt. Is that right? Uh, very All true. Very, right, very, very true. All right. Now. To be expected. Ted, you have Seven. ten points. You need everything you could get. Seven. Seven. Thirty Seven. points. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's something. All right. Now, Ted, tell us this: Is this bath towel worth more or less than that ten dollar? Box of Mighty Patch Acne. Oh. It's organic. The, let me see the tag. No. Casaluna. Casaluna. Here's the thing. Some of these towels can be expensive. I've been to Target. Some of them are like, are like 20 bucks. Ted, would like you shut the fuck up and guess? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna say higher. 
Higher. You'd be wrong. You're our first Dang. contestant ever with negative points. Ted. <laughs> oh my lord, Ted. You have How much negative points. Hold? You have negative points now, folks. I know a lot of you are waiting for. I know. By the first, you said I'm first contestant ever getting negative points. That's correct. Ever. That's correct. But it's still anybody's game now, folks. Those Jeez. of you who are tuning in to Attack of the Show, you can tune in on G42. I'm just kidding. It'll be up right after this. Attack of the Show is coming up right after this. If you're tuning in for, <laughs> if you're tuning in for Attack of the Show, it'll be right. It'll be right after this. Just be patient. All right. I don't think I've ever done this badly at anything in my entire life. Well, um, that can't be true. Tell me you're up next. Tell us which number you want. Uh, I'll go number three. Number, number three. three! 25 points. All right, now, Tubbo. Oh, that's a scary amount. Everybody is on the edge of their seat, Tubbo, because... Well, what are the two items, sorry? Acne patch, nail clippers. Which one is worth more? The nail clippers? Why is he getting shit like... Ugh. Worth more? The acne patches or the nail clippers? Oh, my God. Oh, God. No, what brand? What brand? Tweezer Tweezer Man. man. Oh, this is really difficult, man. Oh, it's gonna need a lot. You're gonna need a guess right now. I'm gonna say less. Less. You think less. it's worth less? You would be incorrect, Tubbo. Yeah! Open the door. Minus 25 points, yes! which means that Jack Manifold has officially taken the lead. Now, Schlatt, as I could say, it's anybody's game. You're not out of it yet. Pick a number from the board. I need to get above 30. This is your last number. Make it good. Uh, There's uh, only one number on the board that can save you. Oh. Uh. The Clippers were $14, by the way. Go ahead. Go ahead. Six. 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 Number six. Oh, 20 no. points. Ah. It's just what you needed. No, it's 20. It's not. No, it's it not. Matter. Give me the four. Give me four. Instead. No, you can, we can't four. do it. Let's make it interesting. No, give we can't four. do it. We can't right. do There's it, There's no Slat. cash prize. You give me four. four. Let's raise, raise the stakes. Slat, just give us an answer. What's the item? <clears throat> uh, degree clinical protection. Or the mighty. What pack. the fuck is that? Are they condoms? Deodorant. What? Deodorant. Deodorant. Less. Les, you'd be wrong. You're way out of the game now. What? <laughs> All right. Yeah, the other is only $10. Hey. All right, wait, stop, stop, stop this lad. It's the biggest well. scam I've ever seen. All right, there's three I'm left on the board. Jack I'm Manifold. Can, I, can, can, I, can I really quickly ask why is the board ha haunted? Like, what is because that? it was in Mick. We found it. Didn't you hear the lightning? Oh, I did, but like, what does it mean? What does this mean for the game? What the hell? Why do you need it to mean something? Which... It's haunted, kid. All right, fine. I'll pick number four. All right, four. Number four. 30. Yes. <laughs> the number Schlatt needed. 35 yep. points. Now, your what's item. The, what's the thing? What's the item? Jack Manifold. Swiffer wet jet mopping cloth. Now, stop here. Wait just a second. Will, I want to tell you what's at stake. Jack Manifold. Ted, we're not even gonna let you pull another number. What? Because it's impossible. Fuck you. To not <laughs> Ted, why don't you give me? You. Why don't you give me a number? We'll just see what it was. Well, yeah, we'll just see. All right, two. Ted, you still lost, Ted. Oh. Yeah. Ted, you give still. Give me back in the positive. Nope, you're gonna be give the me first person. Give me back in the positive. Right. Ted, you lost. Wait, what was his item gonna uh... be? Hang on, we'll just see. Uh, Selson Blue, more or less. Was it? What is Selson it? Selson Blue, more or less, to see if you ended up in negative points. Uh, it's fucking more. And you're more in negative points. <laughs> you should have left it, Ted. Ted, you should have left. That's what happened, Ted. You should have just left it. No! Now you set a record. <laughs> negative 70 points. The, the clown plaque is on the way, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. I oh kid you not. We, we did. We don't even try to make. We try to make this a close game. We really yeah. do. We do. <laughs> you tried. To, you tried <laughs> negative <laughs> 70. Now manifold. If you get this yeah. incorrect, you will lose the game. If you get it correct, you will beat Tubbo. It's between Jack Manifold and Tubbo. It's a civil war. <laughs> Can I get Thank a close-up of those uh, pads again? Can I get a oh. close-up of those, please? Tell me, Jack Manifold, it, are the <laughs> Swiffer mopping cloths worth how, more how or many, less? How many cloths are there in there? How about this? Uh, I'll guess, and then you do the opposite of what I do. 24. How about this? 24 cloths. What material Jack, are they made Jack, out of? Easily destroyed? I'll, I'll give you a guess, and then you guess the opposite. There's no way you could lose. Did you just I've ask doing if so that bad. easily destroyed? That's yeah, like, good. Like, I would like, say I don't know, are you shooting them? What are you doing with I would, them? I would say it's more. Well, Ted, you're not answering, so shut up. Can somebody take him off? I know. I'm take that into no, account. No, no, no. No, Ted, you know what? Believe in yourself, King. Believe. No, Jack, it's your guess. Well. 
I'm gonna say they're more. You I think they're more? Well, let me Jack tell you. sided with a man who hasn't gotten one right all day, and what a <laughs> fucking idiot you were because you lost the game. <laughs> Incorrect. The winner of name your price. How much was it? Nine fifty nine. Which means that the winner of the game is I told you to do the of what I thought. Tubbo, Tubbo has won this Jack. episode of Name Your Price. Tubbo, get that fucking Why saxophone out. Get that saxophone out. Play us out. Play Ladies us out. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on Why real quick, Why did you choose Will. now to believe in me, I want to give a big Why shout out now? to everybody. Wait, hold the, hold the sax real quick. Do it over this. Do it over All this. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, give Keep a big on. shout out to Mr. Tubbo Live, everybody. He's the winner of today's show. You can find him on Twitch at Tubbo. Follow him at Tubbo Live. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jay Slad, everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jay Slad, everybody. That's, no, that's that not Jay Slad. It's Tubbo. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. All white people look alike. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's okay. They're white. All right. <laughs> Next up, it's Jack up. Manifold. Thank you. All right, Jack Manifold. Oh, Last yeah. but not least. Oh, everybody. Oh. Round of applause. Quick, quick, play the saxophone. Give us a sad sax. Our, our, the boys. They even play the Our graphics are not yeah. equipped to move this quickly. Everyone needed to know. Yeah. Everyone needed to know. And last but not least, Ted the Nibison. The biggest loser of all time, Ted Nibison, everybody. And I'm Austin Show. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Austin on Twitter. Give it up for Will Neff, everybody. My Will Neff on YouTube. I got a new YouTuber. That's, Newish. Go follow it. That's right. Go follow it. And the Give it up for Just a Minx, everybody. This has been Name Your Price. All right, I got to go do Attack of the He's Show. He's got to go do Attack of the Show. Right after this is Attack of the yeah, Show. Come on! Okay, they just Bye, threw Austin. it. Thanks for having Did me. they just throw it to Attack of the Show? Oh, let's check in with them right now. Hello. Kevin. Hi, Austin. Oh, I'm doing well. You. How are you, sir? Wonderful. Nice. When do you leave the country? Are we announcing that? Uh, Have you? No. Oh, are you no. talking about that or no? I'm leaving on Austin, Sunday. Austin, I'm going Austin, to Austin. South Korea, everybody. Round of applause. Yeah. All right. Let's hear it for South Korea. That's right. Kevin, I, Beautiful I was country. told my, I, was, I chewed into your showtime. That's okay. It's not the first time. <laughs> no, and, I know. We do it every week. And it won't be the last. No, but you know what? We love Name Your Price. That's we right. appreciate the bump. That's we appreciate right. you. Thank you. And, and because we love you so much, Austin, I'm going to let you go because I know that you have to go to South Korea. Please I safe do. travel. Do a flight. mukbang for me. Because we love you and because we love your audience, it's always so generous and so sweet and so kind in the chat. We're going to give away 109 plus Epic Game Store codes on our show wow. today. They are chomping at the bit to play Fortnite, I tell you. Ah. All those Minecrafters. We will send the viewers over to you, Kevin. Have a nice day. Thanks, Austin. Appreciate it. Can't wait to Love squander you. this lead in.